Hello, everyone, and welcome to Visual Story. I teach this class as part of a required foundation series for the MFA designers and stage managers here at UCI. Thank you for being a part of this class. What makes this class so special is the insights that you will bring to each film from your own experiences and point of view. Even though this course is asynchronous, I'd like to schedule some group discussion days so we can exchange ideas. This course was inspired by a class that I took in graduate school at the UCLA School of Film and Television. It was taught by Robert Rosen, one of the great film preservationists who has helped save and archive thousands of films that were in danger of turning to dust. When many films were made, there was no thought to preserve them for all time. After all, they were considered temporary entertainment that would be watched for a while and then the audience would move on. That class was offered only to film directing and producing graduate students, but I begged to be in it. Later, when I started working in film, it proved to be one of the most valuable classes I could have ever taken. I'm so pleased to be able to bring a version of this class to you. One unit of that original class covered what we call mise-en-scene, or the visual aspects of any entertainment production. I expanded on that unit to create an entire course just about how visual and oral elements contribute to storytelling. I started by interviewing professional designers over the next 10 years about which films had been most influential to their careers, and each year I add to that list. Some of the films are the same greats that you would expect to study in film school, such as The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. This class is arranged into units of study. Each unit is divided mm -hmm. into topics. We will use the case study method of analysis. We will study individual films as excellent examples of one specific element. The class schedule is your guide to knowing why we are watching each film and what unit and topic it corresponds to you will find that course schedule on the Canvas site. I'll explain more about navigating the site later. Our three units of study will be reading visual literature, the elements and principles of art, and narrative structures. Unit one, reading visual literature, We'll also have several subtopics, a new art form, critical viewing, an overview of the visual elements, and then we'll study contrast, affinity, and anomaly, which are important concepts for storytelling. Unit two is a study of the elements and principles of art. These include line, shape, proportion, silhouette, positive and negative space, the dimensions of color, and how we talk about color with color harmonies and color relationships. We will also study color as used in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo, and then saturated or desaturated color, and we'll briefly talk about what technicolor is. Please begin the course by familiarizing yourself with the Canvas site. The syllabus page is the home page for the course, and it should be the first page you will land on when you log in. There are three navigation links that will help you get around the site. The first says, start the course here. That takes you to the modules page. Next is consult the full class schedule with a link here. And then there are links to each week of the quarter. There's also a list at the bottom of all the assignments and the due dates. The modules are arranged by topic. The first module is called Course Explanation and Getting Started. 
The second module is textbooks. Required readings are provided for you here. The major textbook film is used in many film schools. It's very expensive. And so please be respectful that it is provided to you here for free. Don't share it widely on the web. Each week of the quarter has its own page. This page is the roadmap to what you need to accomplish and how to do the assignments for that week. Remember, you can find the week page from the opening syllabus page by using that quick navigation link, or you can go to the modules page. If you'd like a larger overview of the course and all its related files, return to the modules page to find the page titled Class Schedule. If I make changes, they will appear on the Class Schedule Canvas page. I will send an announcement through Canvas if I make changes, so make sure to have your Canvas notifications turned on. I will communicate mainly through the announcements function and those should be emailed directly to you. The first two weeks, so you can watch the first four episodes of the story of film. This is an epic view of the history of film in 15 episodes. You can find detailed information on each episode on Wikipedia. The major emphasis of this class is watching films. Some weeks you will all watch the same film and other weeks you will have choices. For instance, when we watch film number nine, there are five choices. One of the choices will be available at no cost through the Langston Library. Other choices may be available through Amazon Prime or other streaming services. The weekly page contains a short explanation about each film or why it is an option to watch. I have posted trigger warnings to help you decide what to watch. For designated films, you will complete a film survey documenting a specific aspect of the visual storytelling. There is extensive information available on Canvas about how to complete these surveys in week three when we start these assignments. It is a form, so you know exactly what to look for in each film. That's the general overview of the course. Click the syllabus page to note that the first assignment is a mini quiz about the Canvas site. At the end of this course, you will be an educated film viewer who is familiar with narrative structure, who can analyze the contributions of mise-en-scene using some of the elements and principles of design. You will spend the next four class periods watching the story of film to gain an understanding of how film developed into the powerful visual medium it is today. I look forward to exploring these great films with you.